हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमोगान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई टू माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन On Monday, the exchange rate of the US dollar against the Iraqi dinar increased in the markets of Baghdad and Erbil. Our correspondent reported that the Al Kifa and Al Harithia central exchanges in Baghdad recorded 146,750 IQD for every $100. In the capital's exchange shops, the selling price reached 147,750 IQD. while the buying price was 145,750 IQD per $100. In Erbil, the selling price was 146,600 IQD and the buying price was 146,500 IQD per $100. Iraq's Ministry of Finance disclosed on Monday that federal budget revenues exceeded 42 trillion dinars, which is about 31 billion dollars over the past 4 months. with oil revenues contributing nearly 89% of the total according to data released by the ministry figures for january february march and april of the current fiscal year underscore the crucial role of oil in iraq's economy revenues for the four month period totaled 42.725 trillion dinars while total expenditures including advances amounted to 3.678 trillion dinars Specifically, oil revenues accounted for 38.003 trillion dinars, comprising 89% of the total budget, while non-oil revenues were reported at 4.698 trillion dinars. Economic expert Mohammad Al Hassani told Shafaq News Agency that reliance on oil revenues makes Iraq's economy vulnerable to global market fluctuations. He urged the Iraqi government to use the financial surplus from oil to develop other economic sectors such as agriculture to reduce dependency on oil. Corruption and bureaucracy dominate most governmental institutions, hindering economic development in Iraq, Al Hassani warned. He emphasized the urgency of diversifying Iraq's economy to prevent future financial crises that could render the state unable to pay its employees. In March 2021, Mudhir Mohammad Saleh, the financial advisor to the Prime Minister, cited the impacts of past wars and economic sanctions, alongside ongoing political conflicts, as reasons for Iraq's continued reliance on a rentier economy. He noted that these factors have fragmented the country's economic resources. The ongoing dependence on oil as Iraq's sole budgetary resource poses a significant risk, particularly amid global economic disruptions that frequently affect oil prices. This situation often forces Iraq to cover budget deficits through external or internal borrowing, highlighting a critical need for effective financial management and alternative funding solutions.